Hey, 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 welcome back to Our Young Creators, the podcast. You're listening to episode number 141, and on today's show, I am sharing a recent interview I had with Kathy Stowell over on the Mama Bliss show. Enjoy. What began as an experiment to bring my 11-year-old daughter into my business has evolved into Our Young Creators, a podcast, a training center, and a movement dedicated to equipping kids with real-world marketable skills so that they can fund their own brighter futures. We're here to inspire you to turn consumption time on devices into creation time and use technology as a tool to bond and not bicker with your kids. Join us each week as we share the inner workings of our partnership and bring you stories from guests of all ages and from all walks of life on our quest to nurture and to celebrate our young creators. And we're live with the Mama Bliss Show with our guest expert today, Young Pratt. And um, I'm so excited to talk with her today because we're going to talk about a lovely topic all about how we can encourage the skills within our kids to start bringing their gifts by helping others in the world, serving in their own special way. Uh, I just think that's such a lovely topic and it got me walking through the lanes of the old, my own uh, childhood memories. So. <laughs> That was a trip. Um, so, yes, so um, she's going to share with us how to equip our kiddos with the real-world skills needed. Uh, a little bit about Young is she is the chief dreamer of Our Young Creators, and she is a veteran podcaster, as you will soon pick up on from her voice. I just love her voice. She's a great speaker, and as well as an author of the book called Raising a Superhero, how to unleash your child, your child's eight superpowers and propel learning through the arts. And she's um, a mom of two girls, a wife and a lover of travel, coffee, reading, and get this. I love this one. It seems kind of <laughs> random. Very cool. Archery. <laughs> I don't know too many archers out there, so it's really cool to meet one. So Welcome, Young, and I'm so delighted we got to meet and I get to share you with my little community here. Well, thanks for inviting me. After the lovely conversation we had over on my Facebook page, it was great to be able to reconnect and and talk about all the things that we have in common, about equipping our kids and really empowering them to thrive Exactly. This is, this is such a wonderful topic. So I will just hand over the mic to you. Um, perhaps you can let us know a little bit about what it looks like for kids who are equipped. What are you getting at when you're saying to be of help in the world? So there's so many different ways for kids to grow up and be creators. And we always talk about raising creators. And to me, the idea of creators are these kids who are inspired to innovate, who are inspired to be the leaders, and who are really going to be able to create a life that they choose rather than to be put into a box that society may tell them to stay in. And it takes many, many forms. And actually, Our Young Creators really was born out of an experiment about needing to replace my virtual assistant who is doing things like helping me edit the podcast, creating some graphics, working on blog posts, and it just really wasn't working out. And I wasn't committed to going through the process of finding someone really, really great again. So I just stopped to ask myself, what would happen 
if I brought my kids in to do these things, to do really adult kind of things that most parents don't think about. You know, I think that if you're if you're a mama, one of your greatest assets inside of your business can be your kids. Because Mm -hmm. what I have found in this process of this experiment is that when I show my kids how to do something, whether that's creating posts for sharing on Pinterest or other social media platforms. It might be, you know, putting the the podcast over on the website, doing all those little things that need to get done. But by them learning it and taking, taking control of the situation and really giving them the freedom to do it in their own way, right? Because when I went through all these steps with them, I said, here's what I need. Here's the end result. Here's how I do it. However, you have a lot of freedom, especially in creating graphics. You know, Mm -hmm. if you see the title of a podcast, what my kids come up with and what I would create usually are very different. And the really cool thing is that usually when they create it, I love it so much more. Mm -hmm. And it's a time saver for me. But because they're able to do these skills now, my kids have actually been hired by people outside of our household to oh, do these things for them. So my youngest, for example, helped someone, you know, do her YouTube videos, get stuff from Facebook over to YouTube and tag them and make sure that all of that was good over there and put together a blog post and do transcripts and she was able wow. to pay for her entire math camp experience. And that, this is what I want for other kids, especially if you have, as a mama, there's lots of stuff to do. If we can stop, take a breath, show our kids something that needs to get done in our business, but does not need to get done by us, those repeatable tasks that maybe you want to hire out for, rather than doing that, Take some time with your kids and show them how important the work they're doing. Because when I first had this notion of bringing my kids in, I really, really, really wanted to make sure that it was meaningful work. Yeah. I didn't want them just filing and straightening and, and doing those sort of menial tasks. I've had jobs like that, and it was not joyful at all. Yeah, so it's a buzzkill. really important to me is I wanted to have them – have a sense of ownership and responsibility Mm -hmm. and use the gifts and talents that they have innately and put their own spin on what we're doing. So now our business is myself and my two daughters really putting stuff together. And I just, it's the favorite thing I get to do as a mom, because when we're working together, when I'm teaching them and when they're doing stuff, we're normally in the same room working side by side, usually laughing or, you know, having just a lot of fun process of creating. So not only do we get to get work done and be productive, we get to do it together and build those memories and build those relationships and really just equip the kids with skills to work independently, to have a desire to serve others and to really just put their own gifts out into the world. Oh my God, that is so cool. I didn't know your story, <laughs> the big story. I knew a little bits of your story, but that is so cool. How old are your girls? So they just turned 12 and 15 this summer. Ah. And I do have to say my youngest at the time we started this, she was 11. And so oh. she was really on board because literally yeah. it was us snuggled up together, our two laptops side by side and just Aww. laughing preparing things like presentations and slides and those sort of things. And my oldest was not so keen on doing that. Yeah. However, she started seeing her little sister be able to have an experience, like go away to camp for a week and yeah. pay for it herself. <laughs> and so now at 15, you know, she's getting ready. She's thinking about college and car and all these things. So now it's her choice to come in. Mm-hmm. It's not me saying you will sit and you will do this because we all know that that never works. It has to be their own decision. You have to just plant some seeds along the way. Oh, absolutely. And, and really just hope that they, you know, start to sow those seeds in their own way and use their gifts again to go out there and serve others. 
Oh my God. Okay. This is so awesome. I was more excited that, you know, the kids are <laughs> emptying the dishwasher, <laughs> like watering the plants so I can get down here and work. I never thought to hire them as my essentially virtual assistant. So that yeah. is brilliant. Um, so how about we dive right into some tips if we want to start, you know, equipping our, our kids with some of these skills so they can go out there and be like incredibly helpful. That's amazing. So my first tip would really be to kind of take a look at what you do during the day and the week. Are there tasks that are repeatable that maybe you don't really enjoy, but you think your kids might? You know, for three, four, five days, maybe even a week, just jot down all the things you do and you'll start to see some patterns. Maybe you're spending, you know, an hour or two a day on doing social media posts. Well, they are important, yes, but if we think about how our kids are already using their devices, wouldn't it be cool if they can use your, their devices that they already love and create those graphics for you instead of you doing it? I mean, if you can free up some time, that's a huge win for any mom or any business owner. So that's the first step. Really just sort of take an assessment of what tasks you're already doing and which tasks you could start to delegate to your kids. Mm -hmm. A second piece of advice when you're working with your kids is, again, it really has to be their idea. You know, to be able to suggest things to them and, and really start to get curious about what they might already be doing online. Do they like to look at fashion blogs? Do they like to look at makeup? Are they looking at recipes? Are they looking at craft things? You know, take a look at what they're, they're doing already as well and start to ask some questions and plant some seeds. And maybe a question would be, you know, my oldest loves makeup tutorials. She's obsessed. She loves trying it all. And often she'll spend hours in her room and, you know, go through these tutorials and do it herself. I have, though, let her experiment on me. So she knows that I go live. So a way that she helps me now is she is my personal makeup artist. Aww, she loves cute. to do makeup. And again, I'm taking something she's already doing, planting the seeds of possibility about how she might be able to apply that. And then now she's excited about that. Yeah. And then my third thing is, you know, there's no reason to have this mama guilt about time in your business, time with your kids. Yeah. You know, we have found this beautiful way that when we're doing these things together, we are having creating stronger bonds. We're creating memories. You know, sometimes it might be a little bit more uptight, which probably is not the right word, but you know, sometimes there's deadlines and you really have to get stuff done by a certain time. However, that really just teaches your kids about responsibility, about time management, and the fact that you get to do these things together, learn together, and grow together as a family, that's really the most magical thing about equipping your kids. And, you know, when you're sitting side by side, that's mm -hmm. when you can start to teach them. After you've done your assessment, after you've figured out sort of what they like and what they like to do and want to do and how you might be able to put a spin on it to work in your business, and then coming to do it all together. That's really where the power comes because it's one thing to think about doing all these things. But it's another thing entirely to put it into action, to sit down, to brainstorm and say, OK, this is the vision. Are you guys on board with this? You know, what things do you like to do? And it's definitely my greatest joy now to be able to see my kids do things that I've taught them for our business as well as others, because I know that's going to serve them in a really big way because not yeah. only are they learning lessons and helping us in our businesses, they are learning how to work with others. They are learning how to be servants. They are learning how to really apply their creativity in a way that makes them different and unique. So when they, when it's time to get a job or create a business of their own, they have a basis of skills that they can say, you know, I like, I've learned all these things. What might I want to do in the future? What could I do in high school or in college or in middle school to start earning that money? 
How much do I need to serve in order to get to my goal? So it's a really just great conversation, again, where you get to do it side by side. You get to plant the seed, you get to dream it, and then you get to go and do it. Oh, my God. You're, like, blowing my mind right now. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, full disclosure, uh, I'm actually um, a Waldorf mama, so my kids aren't online yet. But this can definitely, I can definitely borrow from what you're saying and apply it just the foundation piece. And it's starting to happen because my girl is 13 and and I could see some of her interest and me because I've been online so long, ever since she was a toddler, um, I, I get really excited and I have all these business ideas. Like she's really into doing Mendy, you know, like mm-hmm. um, that henna, Um, so I told her, you know, there is a teenager flea market here in town. You should get a table. And then I started telling her my friends, my friend's daughter had a Mendy business and she would go do parties and da, da, da. But definitely, you know, as when I, you know, when she's a bit older and we start giving her more access to online stuff, then I could, you're really inspiring me to, okay, what can she start with that she can do and express herself creatively, creatively that way. Um, but it's just really exciting because I could see already that the wheel starting turning, <laughs> but even when she was younger, um, both her and her little brother, when I was doing videos, I remember they were, they were like my audience's audience's favorite mm-hmm. part of my YouTube videos. Cause they would be like acting in them. Yeah. We did these <laughs> hilarious videos, you know, I was talking about how to get work done as a, you know, as a work from home mom. And then her and her little brother, they must have been only like two and five at the time. You know, I had them tied up and (laughs) opened up a door and there they are all tied up. It's like, oh, we don't want to go in there. But anyways, um, there's yeah, you can definitely get use your own creativity to figure out ways that it's appropriate for your children's age and what they're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And um, this is really exciting. Um, You have so much goodness to share. Where can... um, my audience learn more and get a little taste of how you actually help others help their kids help others. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I just want you to point out one thing about yes, something that you please. said about you're not using a lot of technology yet, and that's totally cool. The whole premise of everything we do is to be intentional with the use of yeah, technology. Absolutely. And if love we that. teach our kids how to use it properly, how to show up properly in a video, how to express their gifts and talents, that is going to serve them so well because they want to model what you're doing. They want to emulate what you're doing. And if we can show them the proper way that is full of integrity, full of passion, and full of love, I mean, that's really the greatest gift we can give to our kids. And I love that technology is there now because there's so many possibilities. The world's are oyster. even, Even more, absolutely. Yes, and I would love to continue this conversation. You can find me right here on Facebook at Our Young Creators or over on our website, OurYoungCreators.com. There's a couple of freebies there if you want to go check them out. I would love to continue this topic because it is definitely near and dear to my heart. And I think these kids are ready to be given the responsibility to start yeah. creating rather than just being consumers in this digital uh, age. Touche. Ooh, that's a quotable. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. I, I'm so excited about this conversation. I'm going to be ruminating it throughout my brain all day <laughs> long. And I got ideas because, uh, yeah, good Perfect. little BAs might be living under our roof. Little did I know. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And that's that's an exciting time to know that, you're raising these these little thinkers these yes who have ideas of their own and who have the ability working next to you to bring them to fruition and see their creations come to life oh very empowering oh young thank you we will put a link to what you've mentioned of where to find you uh, in the description and anyone has any comments or questions for young please go ahead Leave them below under the video or go visit her site and her page and uh, connect with her there. 
Awesome. I would love that. Thank you so much. I had such I think a you're coming. as always Thank talking you. to you and I look forward to doing it again soon. Yes, we must. Yes. So much to really dig into here. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everybody. Bye. And there you have it. My guest interview on the Mama Bliss show with Kathy Stoll. I would love to know what you thought about this episode and what you think about hearing my guest interviews on other people's shows and podcasts. Tag me over on Instagram at young.pratt and let me know. Until next time, my friends, I wish you an amazing day. Cheers. Cheers.